go, part three. This is uh, the third part of uh, second annual Rio Grande Valley Boxing Awards presented by SouthTexasContender.com. We're here at Stormy Colors Bar and Grill. Thank you, Martin, for hosting us, and thank you for the mayor. We're still here for uh, giving a little shout out. But now we're going to end it with the last three awards, okay? The first award I'm going to you know, give out is to this little uh, young man doing very, very good. He's starting to create a buzz here, okay? He's starting to get hot, like Don Chargan always tells me when he sees a fighter that's uh, you know, really catching on, okay? Uh, this young man had, what, four great fights last year? Uh, every time he fights here, ooh. is he going to be fighting on your card, Anthony? Uh, little Brandon. Oh, not this one, okay. But the last time he fought here, boy, he was a lot of people that comes out to support him from Mexico because the dad, you know, is, is a tick seller. And, and he makes sure, not only does he train him and manage him, but he makes sure he you know, gets some tickets sold so the fans come out and support him. Now, this kid is getting better and better. Uh, the last two or three fights, there were no give me's. He had to really work for them. Uh, especially that fight in San Antonio and that last fight in the Cowboys dance hall. This kid is starting to catch on, like Don Chargan says, when, there's a, when he has a hot prospect. And I expect bigger things from him this year, okay? So this kid uh, comes from the Figueroa bloodline. His brother, you know, Omar Figueroa, the former WBC lightweight champ of the world. Uh, was he 4-0 now? 5-0 no with three knockouts? Four. Four knockouts, okay. Boy, he's getting more fights than, <laughs> than uh, yeah, he's going faster than I thought. This year, I expect big things from him, and you know, prospect of the year, 2015. We got Brandon Figueroa from Brandon the Heartbreaker Figueroa from Mexico, Texas. Join us here, Brandon, and uh, Omar and Ken too. Ken Lucio, Ken Lucio, you here? Come on up, and Roberto, the new trainer. Yeah, come on up here. It's a team effort. Uh, sister uh, Omira Figueroa, strength and conditioning coach, she couldn't make it because she had a class right now, but she's part of the team. Like I said, fighters, they don't get to the top without help. You don't get to the top by yourself. You do it with the help of others. So he's got a very good, strong team. Brandon, you want to say a few words? Well, we just thank everyone for coming out here. You know, uh, uh, first off, uh, thank God, you know, without him, I wouldn't be here. Um, Martin, uh, Danny, that I always supported, my brother, uh, Cavazos, um, my father, my family. Without them, I, me and my brother wouldn't even be here. But, um, you know, I've been training hard uh, for this award. Well, not for this award, but just for my career. And to get this award, you know, I've been really uh, committed to the sport. You know, um, I really want to uh, be another world champion like my brother, another Figueroa. Um, I want to make the Valley proud, my father especially, my family. Um, and uh, hopefully inspire kids here uh, to chase after their dreams after, you know, um, uh, my brother, you know, people tell him that he wouldn't make it and he made it and uh, me too, but um, I love the sport, I love working hard, um, I love the adrenaline I get from it, just a nice sport um, and I give it my all and uh, hopefully I, this year, expect good things for me, I, I train hard and I work hard with my team. Um, other great fighters here, obviously, they train hard, uh, they give they give it their all, and um, hopefully expect good things from everyone here from the Valley. Thank you. Now, now Brandon, we expect big things, okay? When you win this award, last year's winner was uh, Johnny DeBlaze Tapia from uh, Brownsville, Texas. This year, you know, you have uh, the bar raises, okay? When you're, you know, considered a prospect, a fighter that everybody's tuned in to, you know, they, you can, are you going to be able to deal with that pressure? I mean, definitely, you know, having a good team behind me, my father, uh, that drive I have to, you know, keep moving forward and uh, become the next world champion. And, you know, definitely, I just want to uh, make the Valley proud and my father. Thank you. You don't need to go. I'm going to do it all at once, okay? Because this is uh, last one, uh, last three awards. It's a family affair with the Figueroa. So, first of all, you know, this is part of Team Figueroa. Uh, you want to introduce him more? Got a new addition, you know, make the, the team stronger. So, uh, Mr. Roberto Norris, uh, he's, he's in my team now. He's helping me with Brandon and all of the other boxers that I have in my gym. And I like what he does. He's, you know, this guy, I thought I was good. This guy's better. So, uh, I got to give it to him. You know, he's, he's a great coach. He's a great guy. He's very committed. 
not like me, you know, but close to me. But no, no, he's, he's, he's really good. And uh, I think uh, the team is going to get better. Whoever trains in, in Pantera Boxing Gym, you know, we're going to make some noise. Like he said, hey, you got, you got prospects, you got Brandon, you got some other kids coming up. And uh, I mean, I'm glad he's in my team. So expect big things from, from Pantera Boxing. And uh, Roberto Norris, thank you for, for coming to our gym and, and helping with, with the kids. Thank you. Well, Ted Lucio, he's, he's been with me for a long time. He's a cutman for the UFC. You've seen him on TV. He's a great guy. He's always uh, helping in the gym. And, and uh, when he's there, because he's always traveling all, all around the world, so this guy is <laughs> everywhere. You know? uh, I want to thank him for, for helping us and being there for us. You know, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, the fans. I think the, the Valley has, uh, like, like Molina said, and uh, uh, Omar opened the, knocked down the door. So, I mean, everybody can make it out there. You know, Omar, Omar is a role model to, to follow and, uh, you know, with the right team behind and, and good things come of it. I mean, look at this belt right here. Go ahead, bring it up. This is the ultimate goal for boxing, the WBC world. I mean, this is nice. Once you get to this level, I mean, that's that's world class level, and that's that was my dream. Thank you. I had a dream, and I pursued that dream, and I was consistent. And my son would tell me, "What do we have to train on Saturday and Sunday? You just train. You know, I know what I'm doing." So now, when he gave me this, I almost cried. You know. But now one take on los machos. But you know it feels good. I can die happy right now because the the dream got completed. All right, I will. <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you everyone for coming out here to Stormy Color Martin. This guy is always behind boxing. He's a great guy. So I just want to thank everyone for coming out here. South Texas contender Anthony. We started with Anthony. Look what we got. So now I want to get another one with Brandon. Okay. So. Because of that, you know, because of this, look, because of him, his son's got to where they're at, okay? The sacrifices and dedication, commitment, the resources, oh, developing them into amateurs, going to all these trips like, you know, Pablo, Esmeralda, you know, and other amateurs here that, you know, uh, the Torres's, it takes a lot of, you know, time, commitment, sacrifice. Uh, guy's a ticket seller too, okay? Uh, Every time his sons fights, he makes sure people come out to go support him and everything. And because of him, he, he's a very, 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 very valuable asset to the promoters here locally. And I'd like to see him fight here his next show, if possible. Now I know why Anthony loves me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But because of his, you know, look, because of, you know, a very special man, gets up in the morning like Prado, goes, you know, works a rural <laughs> job, then he goes to the gym. And puts a lot of time and effort for you know the Pantarita boxing gym. They open up a Pantera boxing gym. They open up a gym over there in Westco, uh, you know, that gives kids opportunities they never get, would get before because of that gym. Okay, guys like J.P. Prado, you know what I mean, uh, and all the other amateurs in the gym, and uh, his you know, you know the equipment, the the money, uh, you know, taking these guys to the fights and everything. Then he's got to you know take care of his sons, Omar and you know Brandon, making sure they get the fights and. Uh, Making sure you know everything goes right, and you know just man, it's a total, total uh, you know commitment what he does. He ain't got much free time, let me tell you. That's why this year's a uh, you know recipient of you know trainer of the year again. Last year he was trainer of the year 2014, 2015. He's again trainer of the year for the Rio Grande Valley. Omar uh, Figueroa Senior again, and of course he you know talked to, talk to you know Ted too. Thank you, thank you, and uh, also, you know, my wife, thanks to my wife for, for putting up with me, and she helps me with the kids, you know, take them to run. <laughs> he wants to fight, he says, but, you know, he's got to wait, you know. Um, thank you for this, South Tex Texas contender, and um, like I said, dreams come true, but it's not only dreaming, it's putting the work behind it, you know. I believe my son would have would become a world champion. I told a couple of friends uh, when Omar was like 
seven or eight years old, and this guy's gonna be a Golden Boy fighter. He's gonna be a world champion. They thought I was crazy, you know. And then when he won that belt, I had a couple of friends call me. I used to work for work in pest control, and this guy called me and said, "Hey, remember this is Oscar? You, I used to work with you working, and you told me that when you would give mitts to your son, he was gonna be a." a Golden Boy fighter and he wasn't gonna become a world champion. And he said, you are f, f crazy, you, you know, you, you got there. And now I believe in you. Now I, I know you can take anyone to be a world champion. So dreams come true, but you know what? You gotta work for it. JP's working hard and I'm, I'm gonna try to help you. Brandon's working hard. Whoever works hard, man, I'm, I'm there to help you guys. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you. And you, know, you can't do this by yourself, you know. So of course, you got Robert Norris and his longtime associate. But like I said, Ted Lucio, let me tell you about this guy. I work, you know, I've been in the, in the game a while, and I work with some great cut men, you know, some of the best of all time, you know. You know, I met a lot, I met them all. Ace Morata. Uh, I worked the corners with, you know, Joe Souza, Oscar De La Hoya's long-term cut man. Not, no, Joe Souza. Uh, the guy? Stitch. No, not Stitch. Uh, it's Chuck Bodak. Yeah, he's an old-timer, you know, passed away. I learned a lot, you know, watching him, studying him. Guys like Norm Lockwood, old, these old time, you know, cut, cut men. Joe Souza, oh, you know, Stitch Duran. Joe Souza, you know, Stitch Duran, you know, top of the top. And I did a little video thing with Ted uh, a couple months ago, and he gave me a, like a little college education of, uh, on uh, what it takes to be a great cut man. I, not too many people impress me, man. Like I said, it takes a lot. But you know, when he came out and showed me all this, all, all the little techniques, it's all the little things to be a great cut man. You know, I'm like, man, this guy's good. And right now he's a, a cut man in the UFC. Diego, he works with you too. Yeah, he works with Yeah, he works. A lot of times. <laughs> he work, you know, Ronda Rousey, uh, Kane Velasquez, B Bone Jones, is that his name? John Jones. John Jones, or whatever his name is. Yeah, I don't know too many UFC, but you know, you'll see him in the, you'll see him there. Plus he's a cut man for uh, Omar. Brandon and uh, the WBC champ, Swift Garcia, Danny Swift Garcia out of Philly. So, you know, I like to give, you know, spe special recognition to Ted Lucio, part of Team Pantera. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've always been asked um, by um, some of my colleagues and my teammates is, um, so who would you pick? Uh, would you work Danny's corner or would you work Omar's corner? Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, I don't even want to talk about it and I hope it never happens. So, but. Um, I, I want to thank um, uh, James for, for all the kind words. So, anyways, where were we? <laughs> I want to thank James for all the kind words. Uh, I'm new to the Valley, came here in 08. Uh, actually, Omar was uh, the first person uh, that uh, took me on. Uh, we met in a restaurant, had a broken leg. Uh, that same day, he had to come and wrap his kids' hands for a sparring event, and I've been with him ever since. So, uh, Brandon, I watched him as a young kid look like Justin Bieber when I met him. <laughs> you know? Seriously. So, he, he, uh, you know, it's just, it's good to watch these kids grow up and, and become what they become. Uh, I think, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, over the years is uh, we've learned to uh, support everybody who fights out of whatever gym here in the Valley because we're a small community in this big United States of America so the valley is very small does it get noticed but when you have one special diamond that comes out of a big lump of coal he opens the door for everybody else and it puts inspiration in everybody that says you know what if he can do it I can do it so um, you know uh, Tigre has been in the game uh, he's now out of the game but he he was an inspiration at one time uh, he he's had his success uh, succeeded with uh, some regional championships. Uh, you have uh, Molina, Eric, who's had some regional championships, had an opportunity to fight one of the top guys uh, in the world today and really put some, some leather on him. Um, but then you have Omar that opened the door. Now everybody wants to come through that door the same way, but you got to do it with hard work. So when Floyd says hard work, dedication, it's reality. You, you're not going to get there because nobody's going to give it to you. You actually have to go out and get it. And some of these guys are going out and they get it. Um, boxing is just one portion. Now we got MMA in the Valley. And now you have the biggest promotion here in the Valley with Carlos Diego as being the leading person. 
You know, we have Frank, and we also have, uh, you know, small promotions. you got to give it up to STFC because they put three guys in the UFC. Okay? Whether they, they have. Think about it. They put three guys in the UFC. you got Carlo, you got Frank, and you got also uh, Goyitu who fought on their promotion. There are more to come, in my, in, I, in my opinion, because there's a lot of talent out there. They just need to be seen. All right? You're going to Legacy. Legacy is a good feeder fish for to get to the UFC, so your time is coming. I guarantee it, it'll come. Especially with the new arenas and Bellator showing up, all that stuff, so the Valley is no longer just a small speck where you're not seen, it's getting seen now. And there's gonna be more stars, and I truly believe this kid right here is gonna be a star, you know. Um, I said it about Omar not too long ago before he won a championship, he said, oh, he's gonna win a world title. I. I may be speaking prematurely, but I believe it, that this kid here has a lot of class, has a lot of pizzazz, has a lot of power, and in the five fights that he's had, has shown nothing but growth in his five fights. He's just phenomenal, okay? And he, and he handles it. He's a, he's a quiet killer. He may be the heartbreaker to his dad, but that, he's a quiet killer to me because you know why this kid, uh, he works hard and, uh, and he comes to fight, so. And, and then, Pablito, I, I, I think things are gonna go great for you, too. So, you know, the Valley is my new home, and uh, there's great fighters out here, and all we could do is just keep producing. JP, you know I'm always in your corner, so we're going to do things with you, uh, and whatever, whoever else comes through, Pantera Gym, we're going to try to be the new uh, um, wild card of, of the Valley. So hopefully we can get some, some good fighters and good prospects in our gym, uh, but we're, we're going to continue to support all the other fighters in the Valley and hope the best for them, too. And I want to thank James for everything, uh, the thank kind you. words, uh, and Omar and the team, uh, Mr. Figueroa, for, you know, putting up with him. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much. Now, before we end this, uh, Omar wanted to give uh, awards out to, uh, you know, a few guys that really helped him out, and a few guys he's helping right now. So go ahead, Omar. This is your uh, little section to give out the awards. Was, uh, for one of my fighters, Cesar Cantu, he's not here, he's still working out. This guy works out, works uh, like six hours, runs for 20 miles. He's not here. <laughs> uh, I'll just give it to him in the gym. Also, I want to really thank this good friend of mine. He loves music. He works at 94.5. Sam Daly. Oh, Sam. Here, Sam. He's a great friend of mine. Fire King. Whoa. Absolutely wonderful. I have had most of you guys on my show. Why? Because I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> I really don't. I'm not supposed to have any guests on my show. And it'll say that when you walk in, it says, nobody is allowed in here after hours. But I genuinely believe that this is a proving ground for some great, great talent. Just like I was in Seattle before I came down here and how grunge music just dominated that region and produced so many great bands like Nirvana and some of the other bands like Soundgarden. We have that in boxing and in the fight game here. We have a plethora of talent. We are a breeding ground for champions. That's the bottom line. And I greatly appreciate the opportunity to uh, meet these guys and hang out with these guys. I got three, three friends in the Rio Grande Valley. My friendship doesn't come easily. That's one of my friends. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here with you guys. God bless you. Well, that concludes our show for the 2015. Oh, one more, okay. Okay, this is an awards banquet right here. What do you got for this one? I got one more award for this friend of mine. 
Uh, this guy is really great. He's the uh, chief of officials here in the valley. He's a great guy. He's always helping. He's, he helps the kids. Uh, this is for Tom Lindsay, right here. Come on, Tom. Tommy! Tommy Lindsay, yeah. head of the official for the Rio Grande Valley of the Amateur Boxing Association. I'm not much for words, but I'll just let me give you some facts, like James said. We have 2,500 members of our LBC. I'm proud to say we are number one in the country. We are the number one LBC in the country. And to uphold those standards, the coaches and the athletes make it so much easier for us to do our job, to see you guys excel at what you're doing. It, it goes to you guys. You guys are the best that's going on. Um, I just want to touch base because what's we're talking about things that's growing in the valley. We got a show. Beto's and Stanley Cars always put on a great show. We got another show coming up uh, April the 9th in the valley here. This year, Laredo is going to host the Junior Olympic Regionals. And Dallas, Texas got picked to do the Junior Olympic Nationals this year. Uh, we got honored, the city of McAllen got honored to host the Games in Texas this year. Um, it all starts with these young athletes. And I've seen in Reno, been all over with them too. Bar none, this is the, the cradle for boxing in my eyes. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, to end, uh, to end, we're going to, you know, you know South, Texas, you South Texas contender, you know, reason I do this is, you know, I don't, because we don't, you know, we do this from our heart to promote boxing in the valley, okay, that's why, me, without, you know, because I always, I've been in boxing a long time, and, you know, now because of technology, because of YouTube and social media, now, you know, fighters, uh, amateurs, you know, they should get the recognition they deserve, you know, like other pro athletes, because boxing is a tough, tough, tough sport and everything, and South Texas contender, you know, I wouldn't, be able to do it without my partner Chris. Chris in Inferior. Inferior. I was screw his devil. But he's my uh, he's my right hand guy. You know, he's right now he's not up here because he's, he does all the filming, all the editing, and you know he's my you know every time I need something he's there. You know some somebody I, I can depend on. And my guy guys that'll help us out. Uh, Halacio Cruz, come on up here. Roly, are you here? Come on up here. Come up here. Come on, I got you. Uh, Roly's my video guy. I mean, my photographer. Alasio's my uh, a professional fighter too. Come on in here, guys. Right. He's scared of the camera, but he's also my video guy too. You know, when they're behind the scenes taking videos. He's doing the, you know, photography. Chris is like everything. He's a jack of all trades. Call Noe. Up. And Noe, Noe, come on up here. He does the MMA for uh, SouthTexasContender.com. So I'm going to give you guys awards for uh, you know your contribution. Palacio, Palacio, Roley, the photographer, Noe Beltran, who's, uh, who does the MMA, who's going to be doing part two. MMA, right here, yeah. And Javier Cantu, who's not here, you know, who helps out. You know, like I said, I can't do this all by myself. You know, I need, you know, Chris is my, my guy, my main guy, though. You know, he's the one that, Louis, too. Louis, he's not here. Uh, you he's know, here, he's, he's here. Louis's here? Where's he's he at? Right there. The okay, bar. Louis. Louis here? Yeah, he's my computer guy, my video guy. I mean, but Chris, you know, I gotta give, you know, I gotta give it to Chris. You know what I mean? I always screw up his name. He's got, he's Filipino like me, but I can pronounce my name. His, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do it slow. But you know, you gotta thank Chris, you know, for his time and effort, dedication, commitment, all those beautiful photographs, all these beautiful videos I get to put out. Uh, I can't do it by myself. You know what I mean? Only thing I can do is do what I do. But you know, without these guys' help, you know. We can't be doing these awards, and we'll continue to support boxing, MMA, and every fight will be there to support all the young coming, upcoming stars, uh, the promoters, and everybody else. So, you know, thank you for everybody that turned out tonight. Really, really, thank you from my heart and uh, for coming uh, just to you know, celebrate this special night. And 
2016 is beginning, and we got a show Mar March 11th, and I want to see Brandon fighting over here, senior. Okay, okay, he's getting hot here, so keep it hot. When you got some, when you got the medals hot, don't let it get cold, because he's starting to catch on. Him and uh, Johnny Blaze Tapia, the guy, uh, and Toby Tovar. I want to see him now. Okay, he had a great knockout in his last fight. He looks like he has some ability, but I want to see him stay active too. And uh, JP Prado, my man, I want to see him. He's you know. Eric Molina, big fight in uh, Poland. Okay, and uh, who else? Gabriel Ayala. Gabriel Ayala. I want to see him too, okay? Benito Rios. Benito Rios, Ben, yeah, he's not here either, but yeah. And of course, Joel Rodriguez, you know, he's coming back in the amateurs, you know, after a two year layoff. Pablo. And, uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thank you. You know, we have so many good, good talent. Now, the next part, you know, Noe is going to be doing the uh, MMA, uh, first annual MMA awards coming up. So thank you again.